Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of mean and variance of a discrete uniform distribution. Consider a discrete uniform random variable x that belongs to the interval a comma b. That is, the values of x are from a, a plus h, a plus 2h, and so on, up to b, where b is equal to a plus n minus 1 into h. So, these are the different possible values of x, assuming there are n total number of values. So, the first problem is the mean, that is, we want to find the mean of this random variable x, which is defined as summation of n small n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x into f of x. For a discrete uniform distribution, f of x is equal to 1 by the number of possible values, that is n. So, the summation becomes summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 and the value of x a plus n into h, where n is where n varies from 0 to n minus 1 into 1 by capital N. So, this is equal to 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a plus n into h. Clearly, value a is independent of the value of n. So, the first sum becomes n into a. However, the second one we have h which is a constant and the second value is constant summation from n equal to 0 to n minus 1 of the value n. So, this is equal to a plus h by n into, this is the summation of first n minus 1 natural numbers, which is equal to n minus 1 into n by 2. So, this is equal to a plus h into n minus 1 divided by 2. However, the value of b is defined as a plus n minus 1 into h. That implies h into n minus 1 is equal to b minus a. Therefore, the mean value of x is a plus b minus a by 2, which is nothing but a plus b by 2. Hence, the mean of a discrete uniform random variable is equal to the average of the values at its endpoints. That is, assuming a and b are the endpoints of the uniform distribution or the interval, then the average of these endpoints is the mean. Now, let us derive the variance of the discrete uniform random variable. That is, we want to derive sigma square x, which is equal to variance of x, which is also equal to the difference between the second moment and the square of the mean. So, we have to derive the second moment first, which is equal to the summation of x square into f of x for all possible values of x in the interval a comma b. So, this should be equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a plus n into h whole square into 1 by n. This summation becomes 1 by n into summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 into a square, I mean of a square plus n square h square plus 2a n h. And this is equal to 1 by n into uh, a square is independent of the value of n. So, it is a constant. So, if we have a square into n and the second term is h square into summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 n square. That is, the sum of the squares of the first n minus 1 natural numbers. And the next one is 2a h into summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 of n. That is, the sum of the first n minus 1 natural numbers. So, this is equal to a square plus h square by n into the summation of the first n minus 1 natural numbers is given by n minus 1 into n into 2n minus 1 by 6. This value comes from the formula, the following formula. That is summation of n equal to 1 to capital N of n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So, by using this formula, we have the summation of the first n minus 1 uh, squares of the natural numbers. So, the next term is plus 2ah into summation of the first n minus 1 natural numbers, which is n minus 1 
into n divided by 2 and of course, we have divided by n. Next, this is equal to a square plus and this n and this n goes away. So, we have h, h square into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 divided by 6 plus a into h into n minus 1. Now, by using the relation between a and b and h, we have a square plus and since h is equal to b minus a by n minus 1 or since b is equal to a plus h, h into n minus 1, h is also equal to b minus a by n minus 1. So, by using this relation, we have b minus a whole square divided by n minus 1 whole square into n minus 1 into 2 n minus 1 divided by 6 and the, the last term is a into h into n minus 1 is b. So, upon further simplification, we will get a into b that is this term plus b minus a into 2 times b minus a plus h divided by this is derived by using the formula that n minus 1 is equal to b minus a by h. So, this is the second moment. Now, the variance of x is equal to a into b plus b minus a into 2 times b minus a plus h divided by b sorry divided by 6, 6 minus the square of the mean which is a plus b divided by 2 whole square. Upon simple algebraic manipulation, we should get 12 into a b plus 4 into b minus a whole square plus 2 h into b minus a minus 3 times a plus b whole square. And this is true because the LCM of these two numbers or these two fractions should be equal to 12 and so we have 3 for the 3 should be multiplied to the numerator of this fraction and 4 to the numerator of this fraction. That is why we have uh, a multiple of 4 in the first three terms divided by of course 12. So, this is equal to b minus a into b minus a plus 2h divided by 12. Clearly, this can also be written as b minus a plus h minus h into b minus a plus h plus h divided by 12. So, this is equal to I'm assuming b minus a plus h is capital A and small h is capital B. We have is a minus b into a plus b. That is, we have b minus a plus h whole square minus h square divided by. Therefore, for a discrete uniform random variable with the step size equal to h, the variance is given by b minus a plus h whole square minus h square divided by 12. And for uh, natural numbers, that is, uniform distributions where the values of x are natural numbers then h becomes 1 and the formula changes to b minus a plus 1 whole square minus 1 by 12 and for continuous values h basically uh, becomes 0 in the limit and we have b minus a whole square by 12 for a continuous uniform random way. Thanks for watching.